Oh, I thought you pressed the button. No, you see, I was streaming, but I didn't press the record button because I don't like to have a little preamble in the recording just for like the illusion, oh, yeah. the illusion of professionalism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome <gasps> back to a song of babies and puppies. Official Game of Thrones Funko Pop Funk Off. Sorry, round two. Heard, round two. Sorry, heard some weird noises and was like, "What is that?" <laughs> um, also known as a song of funkies and poppies. Yeah, that is what it is known as by people. Probably. Many people are saying this all around the world. Okay. Yes, I am ready. Yeah. This is round two. Uh, we have thirty-two matchup. Once again, for those who are watching the VOD and don't have the great um pre banter yeah sorry i just received That's a letter from my from my letting agency telling me how much money i owe from the deposit oh, um, I love but that. i'm just choosing Ooh, okay <laughs> i was gonna say i choose not to read nice. it but i read it um putting that down um yeah <laughs> okay Look. Oh, that has time. We are. This is the top priority right now. Is Funko Pops? Yeah, this is all I'm thinking about. Okay, because <laughs> we have like fifty different projects together at this time, but this is clearly the most important one. Yeah, this is the one I prioritize over the other ones. I think. Yes. Okay. This is the one that an actual contribution to society. Yeah, cause... the world will be better once we finish this. People don't have to think. Yeah, about people all have read Funko the books. Discord books. Yeah. But nobody has looked at Funko Pops. Hmm. Yes, exactly. People haven't really analyzed Funko Pops in the way that we yeah. are currently. Okay. They don't ask the important questions like, why does Brienne only have one eyelash, but Danny's free? Yeah. Which, again, is something we are confronting on this first matchup. Um, Daenerys Targaryen, normal, <laughs> versus Sir Brienne of Tarth. One eyelash. Vanilla Danny. Yeah. Uh, this is one we haven't had before, <laughs> which might just slip under your radar because we've already had the misprint with the red dragon mm. and the same thing with the gold dragon. Okay, yeah. I just didn't notice and the standard it's one so have, generic. Yeah, the standard one has green dragon with red wings, which is interesting because... Who is that? Yeah, none of them have that. <laughs> so which of those? You see, this is also a misprint, in my opinion. Um, hmm. Because the, the... Which one's the green dragon? Vise Viserion? Yeah. Or is that Rhaegal? I think it's Rhaegal. The... Uh, Rhaegal's green, Viserion is gold and white. Yeah. So the, the, the regular Rhaegal Funko Pop has green wings, right? Mm-hmm. If I remember it correctly. Yes, I which think so. I might not. Yeah, so this is once again an incorrect dragon. Um, great research done by the Game of Thrones pop figure people once <laughs> again. Uh, versus Sir Brienne of Tarth, which, again, a pretty good Brienne. Um, she's a knight, got some gold armor, fairly generic. This is what Brienne looks like. <laughs> yeah, she's got the standard, like, woman body. Maybe it's a bit bigger, but, like... Yeah. It's not like the hound body, which it should be. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, exactly. It's not. She doesn't have the super slim woman body that Danny has. Mm. But on the other hand, she's wearing gold armor. So, you know, maybe just just the armor that's bigger. It's possible. She doesn't give me long, strong Brienne vibes. No, I mean, the hair is, like, okay, but I look at it and I'm not like, oh, yeah, Brienne. I'm like, hmm, yeah, maybe Brienne. Yeah, this is a person dressed in gold. Yes, exactly. And that's it. I've got to be honest with you, neither of these is giving me, like, a lot of emotion. <laughs> yeah. Which is almost yeah, why it's same. hard. Because <laughs> I don't <sighs> particularly care about either of them. I think I'm going to go with Brienne just because I don't care about the Daenerys one. I don't care great. about this Danny yeah. at all. Okay. There's going to be the, the only time I'm going to care about Danny if she's sitting on top of a dragon and the dragon is spitting fire. Exactly. So I'm going to go with Sir Brienne of Tarth. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you already know which one I'm going to choose out of these two. <laughs> Yeah, this is really not a contest. Yeah. Arya with her 
two-headed spear that she never uses um or bloody Jon Snow hot topic which is the clear winner um we love Jon Snow in liquid here um blood is one of the top liquids <laughs> <laughs> It's a top top ten liquid for sure, so I'm enjoying mm-hmm. it all over his face. Pretty good. I'm just really enjoying the placement of like the specific placement and and shape of the blood. Mm. I think it's really good. I, I really like that it goes into his eye. Yeah. Because that's like, not a place where you would expect blood. It's usually. just all over his very smooth face. It's sort of <laughs> aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, exactly. It's like it still makes him hot, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's the it's the phantom classic phantom of the opera where it just covers half of his face, mm. so you can still see his uh, beautiful clean half of his face, yeah. but also the sexy bloody half. Um, chat is saying that this could be Kylo Ren and Rey, and they're not wrong. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this should be yeah. This is uh, the scene where Rey takes up the Darth Maul lightsaber. Well, she has and said, uh, Ray who, Ray more. Well, she has that, like, staff that she always uses, yeah. and it would have been way cooler if she had, like, two small lightsabers on the end of the staff. That would be pretty good. Um, I'm going with Bloody John Once Snow. again, J.J. Abrams disappoints. Uh, he can't help it. He's a he's a glutton for public punishment. Okay, next. <laughs> Match. Okay, so this goes to John. Yeah, Of course. Bloody John. All right. You bit will fucking a, go. Bit of a gross one. <laughs> very disgusted by both of these for different reasons yeah um we've either got snowy tormen giant's bane bam books a million or 85 mm-hmm. the mountain without a helmet six inch supersized now we've already discussed the pros and cons of these that the mountain looks yeah. super shitty um but sort of enjoyable and yeah don't care about tormen i do but hate this mountain I... that he has snow on him I like I like the faint sprinkle of dandruff on his hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, I. <laughs> Are we going with rapist or just general misogynist? Is the thing here. Oh. It is a challenge. I just I mean we've got loads of do we have other mountains we have helmeted mountain yeah. don't we with the red eyes oh there's gonna be a nice surprise mountain in this one okay that's exciting <laughs> as much as it pains me I think I'm gonna go torment yeah I appreciate like, yeah it's best the... it's not the torment it's the it's the faint sprinkle of snow yes I like the snow that on his head really gets me it's it... just. <laughs> It's to, it's it's totally not what would happen to torment like if he actually went outside in the snow like this is not like beyond the wall snow this is so Germany like, in early March snow it's like fake snow it's not even melted and once again it just goes to show that they should be wearing hats because they're just gonna fucking freeze to yeah. death if they're getting wet hair all the time yeah like torment wouldn't have his perfect hair. If if he like didn't wear a hat, but we want to see yeah we need to see the visual of like snow melting in his hair for the drama. Okay, I'm moving mm-hmm. on. Daenerys okay. Targaryen with red dragon era slash golden hand Jamie Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, once again, this is a shitty Jamie. Um, yeah. it's got the terrible Jamie Not hair. Like, like Jamie season, what season six hair? Mm-hmm. No, I think I think this is season five, right? Because because you discussed that this is Jamie goes on a racist adventure in Dorne. Oh yeah, because he's wearing a trench coat. Jamie. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The classic uh, Dorne <laughs> trench coat. Yes. Styling. Is this is this a salty or a spicy trench coat, <laughs> or what were the other ones? Salty. Hmm. The like four types of Dornish men or whatever. I I have no memory of that. <laughs> it's blood, uh, flag, black oh, bile, yeah. and <laughs> it's yellow yeah, bile. Um, yeah, it's the four humors. Um, I think out of the four humors, this is a melancholic Jamie. 
Uh, yes, uh, Bloody John made it. Yeah, Bloody John was in round two, and of course he did make it, because we respect Bloody John. Um... So are we going with the weird canon expansion of Red Dragon? Um, I think so. Uh, yeah. Jamie is, of course, my favorite character, but I hate to look at this Funko Pop. Yeah, there's better Jamie, I think. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I have not seen this Tyrion before. He's drinking <laughs> wine and he's A wine. new challenger appears. Once again, he's brunette, but whatever. And this is the brownest Tyrion has been so far in yeah, any of these. Yeah, incredibly brown hair. Like, hmm. But he's drinking and he knows things. He's drinking and he knows things and is sitting on the Iron Throne for no fucking reason. Um, he's king. <laughs> He won. He won the he won the Game of Thrones. Yeah. Just by drinking and knowing things. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like his like facial expression in this. He's, he's like very thinking. Serious. Yeah, he's very serious. He doesn't look like someone who's gonna who's gonna say, but Varys got no dicky. Yeah, which is the classic Tyrion line. <laughs> his famous catchphrase. Yeah, I have that on a t shirt. <laughs> um, versus this Melisandre, which is one of the good ones, because I love the Melisandres, they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, she's not translucent, which is a point not in her favour, but <laughs> she's still pretty good. I, I do prefer I the think, Melisandre. Yeah, I think all Melisandres have rights, whether they're translucent or not. What if the final matchup is just normal Melisandre <laughs> versus translucent <laughs> Melisandre? Yeah, that's the thing that could very well happen. Yeah, yeah. I her, think Tyrion has no reason to, no reason to sit on the Iron Throne. I hate that he's brunette. I hate it, that he's serious. Very I hate that he's wearing all his black. Expression. Yeah. Why is he, what happened to black being the thing that the Night's Watch wears? Like when you when you say someone's in black, that's code for they're in the Night's Watch. Except in the last two seasons, just everyone wears black. Well, there it's because they're all fighting the White Walkers. So technically, they're all kind of the Night Watch. Yeah, I think you just thought about it for more than D and D wrote, uh, thought about it. Oh, of course. Okay, so we got some sort of puppies versus. This puppies. went to Mel, right? Yes. Okay, this is dragon versus puppy show off. Hmm. Hmm. So we got fucked this up. Is... Grey wind versus yeah. awful dragon. Versus shit the dragon, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. Eh. They, they both deserve. I okay. So here's my thought process. Okay. He, here's where I'm at. I think this Grey Wind looks cooler than Grey Wind deserves. Yeah. Versus this Drogon looks worse than it should be, for, considering that it's a fucking dragon. If you think about Drogon as being like the scariest, most mm-hmm. massive, like Balerion the Black Dread come again dragon then this dragon is just incredibly upsetting <laughs> i know all the funko pops look like this but it's just no but i just went <laughs> really. over the dragon's facial expressions yeah they're just like happy but in an upsetting way if you look <laughs> at the dragon if you look at the dragon on the cover it looks better that version of dragon yeah. is like a bit more that's scary a, that's an intimidating dragon yeah. yeah whereas this one's like pink yeah, yeah, exactly. The this is this is a thing with a lot of these that the colors on the package are better than the actual toy. Yeah, because they cut costs, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the shitty pink on him. Um, I think this is a gray wind for me. You know, I think it's gray wind. Fuck's sake. <laughs> this isn't even a contest, really, is it? Yeah. So this is Vanilla Torment. hmm Infinitely worse than slightly sprinkled Torment. Um, yep. Yeah. Rubbish. No no snow on him versus Daenerys on an actually pretty scary looking Drogon. So yeah. this obviously goes to Danny with the like smudged face. Yeah. Let's just roast this torment for for a little bit more though. 
Why, why does he look so serious? Like, Tormund is a joke guy. I mean, I guess so he can look, like, scary and you can be like, oh, this is my epic Tormund pop figure. Tormund needs to make DreamWorks face. <laughs> I mean, are any of them smiling? You can't really tell. Yeah, that's true. But, like, everyone, every time some of them has a beard, it almost looks like they have a mouth. Yeah. Because they have, so, like, yeah, the space where a mouth would be. This, If the Funko yeah. Pops had a mouth, this is the sort of size <laughs> it would be. It's such a fucked up... Funko Pops have such a fucked up reality. Like... <laughs> why Why don't they have mouths? Um, we got a, I got to rewatch that, because I sent you that clip of um, the thing they made... Uh, to tease for season 8 where they recreated the final scene of season 7 but with Funko Pop yeah and I gotta pay attention to what, what's going on with their mouths like what's the canon on that mm. is it just not visible do they just all have their mouth their mouths closed and it just like closes to a perfectly smooth surface but they can still like they still have one it just, oh, just disappears once they it's close like, it it's like a perfectly sealed like hole yeah. yeah i mean i think that's how it has to be right that's that's gotta be it yeah because i i refuse to believe that they just can't speak how does funko pop john snow go down on funko pop daenerys if it's got no mouth <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> I have no mouth yet. I must. Um, okay, <laughs> the Art Grey Joy was flaming. I was right. gonna finish that sentence. Uh huh. I just decided to cut it off. Maddie John Snow, Castle Black. Oh, this is hard. <sighs> this is the toughest oh, matchup no. so far. Oh shit. Uh, this is so we're gonna have to face some of these uh, tough matchups in the near future. So this is just a just a nice taste. Oh, I don't like it. I have to choose between Theon Greyjoy with his like epic flaming arrow and face and stuff versus Jon Snow with liquid on. <laughs> this Jon Snow is like he he just he just had big diarrhea in his pants no. and he he's now acting like it didn't happen and is like staring at you, daring you to mention it. Okay, that is very funny, but I hate it. Um, <laughs> he is very funny the way he's standing. <laughs> he's just like, I'm yeah. a big boy. <laughs> I don't have anything on my pants. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm fine. I'm a warrior. I can't... I do love this Dion, though. Yeah, that's the problem. He has that I'm... flaming arrow, like that. Every time there's fire on these, I'm just losing it. It's really hard because, yeah. yeah, I have allegiance. To these Johns, but this Theon, I I was figuring this Theon would go all the way. Yeah, I'm. I gotta be honest. I'm. I would go for Theon here. You know, I hate as to, much as it pains me. I yeah. agree. I hate to see him. See you go, Matty Jon Snow. Gone too soon. Yeah. Uh, F's in chat. But there's there's simply I I think simply the bloody Jon Snow is just superior to the Matty Jon Snow and that's where I stand right now. You know, I agree. I agree. I'm it's upsetting. Um this is the first Funko Pop that I'm sad to see go. Yeah. Normally I'm happy when they go. <laughs> but <laughs> it's so sad. Bye. Goodbye, Matty Jon Snow. I will remember <laughs> you. <laughs> Okay. okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Ooh. 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 More pain. Another tough match. Yeah. I like this uh, Another new friendly. challenge. And this is the... Out of the new challenges we had, this is the first really powerful one. Okay. Why does Renly look so fucking old? <laughs> Why does he have a grey beard? His whole hair is gray. On the box, it's brown, and then it's real brown life, it's on the just box. Gray. <laughs> and they can do brown hair. Like we've seen that with Tyrone. He's meant to be like twenty. Yeah. <laughs> He's like twenty-two. Did he just go prematurely gray? <laughs> this is like your uncle having a midlife crisis and uh, deciding to put on a crown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like if Renly was Stannis. <laughs> 
It's like yeah, this would be a good Stannis. Yeah, it'd be an all right Stannis. I mean, Stannis is bold, but like it looks more yeah. like Stannis. It's better than the shitty Stannis that we killed in the first round. <laughs> Long may that Stannis be dead. Um, versus Cersei on the Iron Throne, which again, don't love the Iron Throne ones, but I do like this like. I do love Game that Cersei Thrones, is sitting Cersei. on it. Yeah. She's simply epic. She's simply in charge and a girl and on top. Yeah. I'm going to go with Cersei because I can't get yeah. over Renly's grey hair. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I... So, sorry to Kay if you're watching the um, VOD. But we simply got to go with Cersei here. Kay understands. If Kay looks at this Renly, then... Yeah. I'm pretty sure she'll be like, yeah. I do like the crown on him. Mm-hmm. And I do like that he's wearing green. Even if it's like a very grayish green. Like, there's color on him, but still. That's because it was season two and they still wore color at that point. Yeah. But yeah, it's got to be Cersei here. Yeah. It's really fucked up that there's no um, Marjorie Franco pop spoilers. Because you can't even recreate the funny scene where he can't get his dick up with Marjorie still standing there. That was very funny on the show and everyone laughed. But there was a Marjorie. Oh, was there one? Oh, yeah. right. We killed that one in the first round. It was yeah. just so unremarkable. Did we? I can't remember, because she was wearing blue, and we were like, it's nice that she's wearing blue, but I think she was against, like, a fucked up White Walker, and we went with that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, because I, it, it isn't in today's matchup, so. Okay, so we got Bull Crush John versus Peter Baelish. Yeah, this is an, another easy choice. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go with Jon Snow on this one. Um, of course. I love the <laughs> slightly annoyed face. <laughs> I like the way he's looking at the audience. Yeah. Um, I hate this he's... Peter Baelish so much. <laughs> This Jon Snow is uh, t- turning a dial that says that's th- that says the Lord's kiss and <laughs> looking at the audience in approval. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it truly is. Okay, now we have to go for the Jon here. Um, yeah, easy. Yeah. Jon Snow And again, the this Rhaegar doesn't have red wings, so... Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. They just seem to make random choices when it comes to the colours, to be honest. Um, Jon Snow Beyond the Wall versus Ghost. No liquid on this one. Next. No. I'm going to go with Ghost. Yeah, easy. Uh, Bronn versus Brienne of Tarth. Feminine. <laughs> Two fan favourite characters of the show. Mm-hmm. My personal faves. It, God, seeing these two next to each other just really shows how all these sword fighters have the same pose. Yeah, they do. They got that. I'm tough. Also, I'm just gripping the sword so hard in my fist. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm worried that people will try and take it away from me, so I've got to hold on really hard. Just giving myself blisters with my own sword. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's there's just simply more of an expression on Braun, I think. Yeah, I don't love one. don't love no eyebrows, Brienne. Really. Yeah, I don't love the hairstyle on this Brienne either. No. Whereas uh, Braun is really uh, rocking the like licked back hair. Yeah, he's got like a widow's peak. He's like got those hard yeah. lids. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Braun. Nice. Next. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we got Mean Joffrey uh, with crossbow versus Shirtless Mountain. When was the mountain shirtless and wearing leather trousers? <laughs> it was in that one scene in season... In season four, I think, where he... Yeah, before... Before the uh, Oberyn duel, okay, he was. There was just like a scene where he was like shirtless and killing people, and Cersei was looking at him and smirked, and it was very epic. This was okay. like I think this was that was also the scene that introduced like this mountain because he was played by two different actors already at this point. So this is a scene, and this was I the shittiest like... one. <laughs> this mountain, like the guy who played this mountain in the show, was like. In his twenties, hmm. like he was, 
have the age of his younger brother, uh, the hound. Was this in one of the scenes where they were like, look, we do male nudity as well as female nudity. We're going to have the yeah, he wasn't be fully shirtless nude. He for the dress- reason. Yeah, he was dressed shirtless. Yeah. The, yeah, because there were like two dick shots in the show and they were all like really disgusting shriveled up dicks. <laughs> no, no to dilation, really. They yeah. weren't, weren't putting the effort in. Uh, versus this Joffrey who I am delighted by. Yeah. I love yeah, again, this evil, is an easy choice. We just wanted to roast Joffrey. this mountain a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I love, is... love the Funko Pop with abs. That's a new one, I think. <laughs> Only seen before on White Walkers. Yes. <laughs> God, this show really fucked up by not uh, turning the mountain into a white. I think that would have been really epic. But he's already like a zombie, so can he be like two zombies? Yeah. After the zombification, he should be in. Uh, he should have become double zombie. Yeah, I think that would have been very if epic. Was, if he was double zombie, that would be pretty good. That would be like. Right? Yeah. Because nobody has done that. Yeah. Yeah, but, and it yeah, would have been like, really unexpected. Don't... The audience would have been like, yeah. whoa, twist. <laughs> <laughs> it would have really Which subverted is... my expectations. Yeah, my expectations would have been like blown out the back of my head, so would have loved that. Ooh, I just noticed his brow as well. He's got these eyebrows, but he's also like... There's like some weird definition going on there. Yeah, yeah. they're like sticking out. Yeah, just so you can see that his brow is, like, super furrowed. Yeah. Ooh, and on the box as well. Wow. Oh my god, he's even more... He also has, like, even more abs on the box. <laughs> There's the real definition there. This mountain is just so not scary. <laughs> okay. It's just like a guy. He's supposed to be, like, the scariest guy in the entire thing. Yeah. He's supposed to be, like, eight foot tall. Yeah. Eight foot tall and just massive and just pure evil, but this is just like a wrestler. Yeah, and the shitty one. Like this is. Yeah, like a boring. This one. is like a middle card wrestler. He does look like a wrestler with the leather trousers and stuff. He's a he's a middle card jobber who's really only, only there to put over the new guy or the the, the next big guy. Mhm. Like a really shitty heel. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with Joffrey because I love this mischievous Easy. Joffrey. I really love this Joffrey. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ah! No, this hurts me. This hurts me inside. Oh my god! This is yeah. This is two all timers. There's. I I hate to I hate to kill one of these. I know this is really upsetting. Night King Crystal with Dagger versus Translucent Melisandre. God. Oh, I love I love the crystal with dagger one, but at the same time, it's, trans- it's translucent <laughs> Melisandre. <Melisandra. sighs> oh, Jesus! Ah, oh, two transparent ones against each other. This is this is cruel. This is fucked up. This is cruel. Why would you do this? Oh, what are, what are you thinking? I don't know, because we already got like one melon, which is basically the same one. Just without the translucence. But on the other hand, the translucence on this one is so good. Like, Yeah, and we love the translucent Melisandre because it's just incredibly pointless, but like, in yeah. a wonderful way. But on, on the other hand, Crystal Night King with a dagger sticking inside, <laughs> inside him, the moment of his death is also just such a big brain concept. <laughs> it has drama. It has presence. It's it's action. It has a, a knife sticking out of it. He's going, oh no, and he's got like one hand in the air. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. This is so hard. Oh my god. This is so hard. Cause okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do we we agree that the translucent Melisandre is better than normal Mel- Melisandre, right? Yeah. But is the Crystal Night King the best one? Probably. Because we also got the one where he's sitting on the Iron Throne. And there's yeah. one surprise one that I'm very excited for you to see. Okay, I think I think we can let the Night King Crystal with Dagger go. As much yeah, as it with, a, to with a heavy heart. Yeah, uh, he's, he's going in my list of like sad fallen 
that yeah. I will think about. The in memoriam list. I've seen chat once again. This really pains me. Yeah, this but hurts. We've got to go with Transmel. Transmel uh, is is my Mel. Pop rides yeah. fifty eight Night King and Icy Viserion versus Hodor. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I didn't remember that this one was coming up right after it, but this was the Night King I was talking about. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with Night King on Icy Viserion. Sorry, Hodor. The easy choice. I, I love this Night King so much. <laughs> he looks very angry, but like in a small way. Yeah, he's just he's just really determined. He's just really feeling that this is his moment. Yeah. He's like. I will defeat them with my epic cool ice dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is I don't even know what else to say about this. This is this is just just it hits it just hits me so right. It's correct. It's the correct choice. Yes. The sorry holder. Fuck yeah, because the holder is just a normal Funko, it's just whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. This was the point in where I was making the PowerPoint where I was like, what? We, we let Children of the Forest win? I thought we didn't. I thought we deliberately didn't choose them. I think it was going up against something super shitty. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Davos. Yeah. I hate this Children Davos of the Forest so it's much. It's so bad. <laughs> it's, it's just plants versus zombies again. Yeah. Yeah. They did such a bad job, and like, in not to defend Funko Pop, not to hand it to Funko Pop, but this this is this is one hundred percent the show's fault. They just made really bad Children of the Forest. They're real like troll to Children of the Forest, you know. Yeah. God. <laughs> they they just super didn't care about the mythology, so they just yeah. Came up with yeah, because they hate the magic stuff. Yeah, they, they just hate want any the... folklore magic. They just want cool epic dragons, and they don't want any other magic there. So yeah, they just want epic fights and titties. So that's a Davos for me, I think. It's it's easily Ooh, Davos. Yeah, Yara versus Icy Viserion. I forgot about <laughs> Viserion having like leopard print. Like... The famous character of Yara Greyjoy, who is called that. Yeah, you know Yara. Yara, the Greyjoy the... name. <laughs> Epic lesbian representation in the show. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that season? Uh, I've seen gifts. <laughs> it's because I'm not a lesbian, mm. uh, famously, but so I can't I can't fully judge if this is like an actual thing lesbians say. But she does say the line, uh, and this is this relates to I think a sex slave, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. She does say the line, "I'm gonna go fuck the tits off this one." Um. I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> I don't think that's yeah. really a sexy thing to say, really. It's just sort of aggressive, but in a non-sexy way. This is, yeah, this is D&D uh, &D, uh, imagined what a, like this new concept in their brains of lesbians. Mm -hmm. And this is what they came up with. Yeah. They were like, ooh, yeah, aggressive, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, On the other hand, I don't hate what what she's wearing. Like, at least yeah, she has it's color. Cool. It's a pretty cool outfit. I like her pose yeah. as well. She's got like one fist up. Like she's not just yeah. clenching it by the side. Yeah, her her head could could just as well be Arya or Sansa or eh, not Sansa maybe, but like Arya easily. Yeah, she does give me like a bit of a Cho Yara vibe. Like I can co I can sort of see it. Yeah. Um, what do you think of this Viserion? It's fine. It's not as good as the one where the Night Kid sits on him. Yeah. I'm going to go with Yara, I think. Let's go with Yara, yeah. Yara. Lesbians Yara. win this time again. Um... <laughs> 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 kind of a challenge again. This is definitely <gasps> getting harder now we've like cut out half of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, I... <laughs> Look, we we already had the better version of this, Danny and Drogon. Yeah. That had fire coming out, so... You're right, actually, and I this... forgot about that. Okay, I'm going for Headless Ned Stark, then, because I love this detachable Headless Ned Stark covered in blood. 
it's so fun. Mm -hmm. I love when the most traumatic supposedly scene of the entire series is like boiled down into one toy that you can epically display. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm you not really subtweeting that. You can the... really play with this one, you know. The other ones, they're just like static on your shelf or whatever, and they're just meaningless baubles. Well, with, whereas with this Ned, you can like, you can pretend to cut its head off. You can have a game. It's yeah. good. <laughs> you can be epic in pain. Mm-hmm. My favorite character. Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately, didn't get, get a Funko Pop. I'm very upset about that. I don't know how present he was in the show. Was he like a... Not very. Thing? He like disappeared because the actor had throat cancer or whatever. It's kind of upsetting. Which, yeah, it, it's kind of sad. I'm not going to fault the show for that one. It's kind of but, um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with yeah. Headless Ned. Nedless. Yeah, absolutely. Ned less. Ned. Okay. Hey. Ned hey. Stark without any head, right? Opposite yes. opposite of Danny, right? <laughs> what? Okay. Because she <laughs> got me again, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good stuff. Okay, Rhaegal six inch super sized pop versus pop ride sixty mounted white <laughs> walker. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of these uh, six-inch dragons, honestly. Yeah. I, mean, I, I do love a six-inch Funko Pop in general, but the dragons are just not doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is such a great, like, half-rotted horse or donkey. Oh, I love this donkey. I'm I'm going with Mounted White Walker. I don't see that there's any competition here, really. Yeah, easily. Love this ET-looking White Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Is this important question? Is this that would this White Walker have abs if he like stripped down? Oh hell yeah! He's so small. He's got like <laughs> a tiny body. Yeah, a tiny but strong body. I think. <laughs> yeah, he's, short, he's got like... short people can have can have, can have abs too. I yeah, I've heard that. Um, yeah, I think so. He's got a spear. It must be pretty heavy. I imagine he's mm -hmm. got the musculature. musculature to yes. Hold I just can't imagine this cute donkey like charging into battle. I can, but it's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I would love to see like uh, My Little Pony style redrawing of this. Mm. It almost already is a My Little Pony figure, to be honest. It's like yeah. the same shape. Yeah, it, it, it definitely appeals to that audience. Yeah. This is a White Walker for bronies. <laughs> okay. Uh, next matchup. Beric Dondarrion with Flame Sword. N NYCC Barnes & Noble versus Missandei 2019 New York Comic Con slash Barnes & Noble. This Beric is extremely growing on me. Yeah, I like the action. The action is great. The flaming sword is great. Every time a, a Funko Pop has fire in it, I'm like clapping like a trained seal. Mm, yeah, because it shows action, and he's like, he's like wielding it, so the flames are sort of going backwards, which is kind of cool. Yeah, fi fire does the two best things that the Funko Pop can do: it's action and color. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, this Missande, she's fine, but again, she's it's not fine. really, she's not really like giving me interest. Yeah, I like her cool coat. It's a pretty cool coat. Um, it's fine. And this barrack can be repurposed because, um, you know, the upcoming adaptation of the Watch Discord series is going to have him as Vimes. So, yeah, so you can just pretend you have a Vimes fan Sort of a one-eyed Sam Vimes thing. A bit of a Sergeant Peel thing, you know? Peel? Keel? Yeah. Sergeant Keel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going with Barrack. It's easily Barrack. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mag the Mighty. Who the fuck is Mag the Mighty? <laughs> uh, giant. <laughs> How is kids? One of the, like, in in a bit, we're gonna get one one, and mm. it's just the exact same thing. <laughs> huh. Although, <laughs> these two are, you could be argued, the same figure, just one of them in blue had fucked up. No, because his beard is like. Double layered? Wait, is that beard or is that like ice? 
No, I think that's his clothes. Oh, I thought it was like beard. a cool double beard. <laughs> I don't think he has a double beard. <laughs> No, it's like two beards. What's a double beard? It's when you like really, you have like the hair growing around your face really long and then you sort of shave it under your chin, but then your neck beard is like really long. Is it a thing people do? I don't think so, but that's how it, <laughs> that's how it presented to me. Um, <laughs> I guess whites could do it. Yeah, you know, maybe it's like Coral. He looks a bit drowned, really. What if this is the drowned god secretly? Maybe. This is how I sort of imagine him. Yeah. I'm gonna go yeah, with giant is... white rather than Mag the Mighty. Oh, absolutely. Because I hate this Mag I hate, the Mighty. Who is this? I hate this guy. What's with his face? I hate what, the way his nose looks. Like yeah. the, the lack of nose on giant white is a much better touch. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think these giants only work for me when they're fucked up. Yeah. Right. Mag the Mighty, I don't remember that name even appearing in the show. I get... Hmm. <coughs> 48. That must be quite late. Yeah, this was like around season 5 or 6, I think. It must have been like one of the epic war battles, but they were all the same. Mm. Like, every, every battle on the show besides uh, Blackwater just had no fucking tension in it. It was just like characters you didn't care about versus characters you knew weren't going to die. I wonder who wrote Blackwater. That would make it like better. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I, wonder, I wonder what made Blackwater so good. Was it that there were like scenes of characters just having conversations while the thing was happening and they were like, you know, there were like stakes to it and they were like fearing for their lives? Um, I think it was that Davos was there. <laughs> I think it was that Davos was on a boat and he went, ah, the bells don't mean surrender. I think that was the good bit. God. Okay. Okay, giant this white. Is, giant white wins this. Okay, the inexplicable two-pack of Jon Snow and Ramsay <laughs> Bolton versus um, evil Bran Stark. <laughs> This is another easy choice for me. Yeah, you see, we gave we gave the last one to Jon Snow and Ramsay Bolton because of the action of the arrows in his shield. Yes, as well as the and um, because they were up to arrow. a very generic one, up against a very generic one. Yeah, um, I do like still the arrow sticking out of the shield. Like, it's a good touch, uh, but it doesn't yes. defeat evil Bran Stark with the little knife, which I love. Yeah, <laughs> I love everything He's... about it. But I love the way he clenches his fists. Yeah. He's it's, mad. Because it's the only thing these Funko Pop hands can do. But if they do it in a purposeful way, it can be very good. Yeah. He's I just, also just left his blankie. This brand Stark, he looks directly at the viewer, his gaze sharp. Yeah. He's asking us to question. He's saying, what do you see here? What do you believe? He's, he's judging us for, uh, for doing this. He's like, why have you bought me a Funko Pop? You have commodified me, a child. What does this mean? <laughs> Why have I no mouth? I have no mouth, but I must say vague statements about the future. <laughs> I have no mouth, but I must walk. Uh-huh, exactly. Okay, this goes to Bran, for sure. Bloody okay, Brienne of Tarth. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Hot Topic exclusive. So the Hot Topic ones have liquid on. Yes. The Hot Topic has uh, sole copyright on liquids. <laughs> I wonder what their so hierarchy is... of liquids is. My friend... Those of you here who haven't read A Song of Ice and Fire, Brienne of Tyre is a character who f- famously loves killing. It's her she thinks it's very do. epic. She's like, I love to kill. Um, no chance and no choice. Uh... <laughs> Versus Arya Stark, 2019, Emerald City Comic Con, Box Lunch. Neither so I do like great. this Arya. Yeah. I like the color on this Arya, and I like her hair. Yeah. I love the pose. Mm. I love that she has one of her hands behind her back. Yeah, she's like in a water dancer pose. Her feet are like yeah. slightly, they're like in a position. Yeah. It's yeah, this Brienne. is a good Arya. I don't like <laughs> the Brienne shape. Like, I like that she's bloody, but I just don't like how pink yeah. she is. And she's not bloody enough. Like, it's yeah. just on her sword. 
Yeah. That's not... That's nothing, Hot Topic. That's you so- have shown us that you can put blood on someone's face. I think there's some on the armor. There is on the picture. There is on the picture, but I can't see on, on the toy. You can't see any blood on the toy. There might be besides like the sword. tiny splatters, but... Oh, there's like tiny sprinkles on her gold armor. Not enough. Mm. Not enough blood, Hot Topic. Hot Topic, more blood, please. Um, I I'm just can't believe the bloody Johnson came earlier. And I, I can't believe how much they dropped the ball on this one. Yeah. Try harder, guys. Use more blood. Yeah. Sorry, Brienne. I'm giving it to Arya. Like the blue, yeah. like the stance. Pretty good. Pretty good, Arya. Okay, so we got Arid 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> Versus Daenerys and Jorah, the Battle of Winterfell movie moments, which I remember we <laughs> gave the win but with regrets last time. We gave the win with a big asterisk. Um, hmm. This is tough. Because I do hate this giant. <laughs> I don't love but this one one. Look, yeah. It's pretty cool that there's eight arrows sticking out of him. Mm. I will give it I will give him that. But once again the giants I I don't like you know, they did an okay job with uh replicating the show designs of these giants. Mm. The Problem is only that the show design was super bad, and I didn't like it. Yeah, it's like it's not the Funko Pops. Uh, oh my god! Fault. I just noticed something about this one one. It's really messing with my worldview. What? Look at his face. Oh, he's got a mouth. He's got a mouth. He has teeth. I mean, I think some of the I think some of the White Walkers have teeth as well and have mouths. Oh god! Why do they get mouths? If you're evil, you get a mouth. Is one one evil? You thought he was no. Good. He's one of the good guys. I yeah. think. He I think he was. I think he was fighting alongside Jon Snow, in epic. Uh, I don't even remember what that battle was called. Because they, they, it was the season, the season four battle where, uh, <laughs> where Ollie did a funny betrayal. Hmm. Was that season four? Yeah, that's the season four. That's the season four, episode nine or eight. Season four, episode nine, I think. Um, where, because starting with, I think season four set the precedent. Yeah, because in season three, the uh, the penultimate episode was fucking what's it called? The famous mo- moment that everyone Red Wedding. By Red Wedding, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a significant that... event of the Red Wedding, yes. Yeah. It's Look, the show doesn't remember it. No. I keep thinking of the Nish Kumar thing where he's like um he does a stand up thing and he's like, I want to be the drummer in Coldplay because he's super rich, but no one knows who he is. Um mm-hmm. and he was actually in the Red Wedding scene. Yes, um playing. I the remember drums. that. Yeah. Well, I remember that from like other people having told me that. I obviously didn't recognize the drummer of Coldplay. No, exactly. Um, You see, both of these kind of suck, so it's hard. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Daenerys and Jorah at the Battle of Winterfell movie moments has flames. Yeah. And it has action. I can't believe... Yeah, but it's like, are we really taking it to round three? I guess we have to. We have to. <laughs> as much as I hate I to have Jorah and the, Daenerys together. It yeah. sucks, but the the teeth of this one one is disturbing me more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just look at his tiny mouth and his tiny teeth. It's like this is a giant that has human sized teeth. Yeah. Yeah, they are very straight as well. It's, they're like all incisors yeah he has perfect dental hygiene i hate this okay <laughs> <laughs> okay over in martel versus battle armor Tyrion lannister hey it's our friend oberin i love oberin he's i mean this is an easy choice for me <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go with oberin i think even though i don't love the no eyebrows but Tyrion also doesn't have eyebrows so yeah, Tyrion has nothing. 
It's got a spear. It's pretty good. I mean, this is out of all the Tyrions, this might still be the best one. But I just hate Tyrion. I find Sho Oberon very distressing because he looks exactly like my older brother. Oh, um, no. <laughs> so when I look at this, I'm like, ah, oh, the Funko Pop of my brother. But at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good Funko Pop. Yeah. I don't have much more to say about this Oberon. I'm just glad he's here. Okay. Nymeria Hot Topic t-shirt bundle versus Night King on Iron <laughs> Throne. Okay, I've got to give this to the Night King on the Iron yeah. Throne. Yeah, I'm looking at this Nymeria and I'm saying to her, that's not you. I'm saying, because yeah. You don't advance to this next round. This is this is just such an all-time Funko Pop, the Night King on the Iron Throne on the Lux. Yeah, he's got his hands out. He's staring directly at you. His face is so textured. <laughs> Yeah, it looks, he it looks like Darth Maul. Yeah, he's he's blue Darth Maul. Yeah, but we love Darth Maul, so. So, you sir are my pick, for yes, America's next top model. He's, he's just about to speak in this scene. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck's sake! Conan as Jon Snow. 2019 San Diego Comic Con. Who wants this? <laughs> who wants this Funko Pop? Who wants a, who wants Conan O'Brien as a Funko Pop? Just as Jon Snow. <gasps> Whose specific toy wish is? I want I want Conan O'Brien dressed as my favorite Game of Thrones character. If you walked into someone's house and they had this on a shelf, would you be <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's Conan O'Brien as Jon Snow? You wouldn't. You'd be like, who the fuck is that? What's that? I would do from? the. Is that like if I walked into someone's house and saw this, I would do the funny Simpsons gift where I like walk right out of the house immediately. <laughs> well, I would, but only because I know what it is. I would be like, is this from an obscure TV show I've never seen? <laughs> is this from Vikings? I don't know. <laughs> On the other hand, I also don't like these dragons. But they're in eggs, which is sort of They're nice. in eggs. Listen, I'm gonna Is go... Conan problematic? <laughs> Probably. Because out of all the uh, late night talk show hosts, he's the only one that I think is actually like charismatic and funny and not... You know, he's not James Corden is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but that's... Being more charismatic than James Corden isn't like a difficult one. And there's one like um, pretty cool segment from Conan's show where him and Mr. T go apple picking and Mr. T shouts at a bee. Mr. T, what's with that guy? <laughs> I just like him. Yeah. He's probably very problematic. Like, he's ultra Christian, so it's probably like... Well, I'm thinking about that story you said about him cutting all the trees down yeah. to his property. <laughs> he's just a super weird guy. Hmm. There's definitely a Mr. T fan cop pop. Oh yeah, there's at least one. Um... I mm, this is hard because I really don't want to give it to Conan as Jon Snow. Yeah, <laughs> we can give it to the egg okay. dragon trio trio of eggs. At least the colors are more right. Um, again, not really golden white, but whatever. Yeah, skin That's fine. colored flesh. <laughs> oh, They're no. not gonna go very far, but you know. we've got really tired Ned Stark versus Lord Varys. <laughs> <laughs> really tired Ned Stark like kind of fits with his character. Like this is after him doing five hours of Ace Attorney investigations. <laughs> He's like, I just can't find the contradiction. I'm so yeah. tired. Which is something that happens to me a lot when playing Ace Attorney, that I just don't realize that there's like one more clue that I can pick up or there's like this specific clue that I have to present to this specific person. Mm. So I just go through like all the locations a dozen times and click on everything again. If I do that, if I get lost and I can't find it for like 20 minutes, then I'll just read the walkthrough and do what it tells yeah, me to do. Yeah, I, I did that. Because I'm a big cheat. I did that a few times. Um, And I love to ruin things for myself. Yeah. <laughs> Versus Lord Varys, who I also appreciate. I like this Varys. I like his, I love the dream like his fun works eyebrows. Yeah, I was going to say I like his fun eyebrows. He's looking and at I like his outfit. Thing. Yeah, big sleeves. Big like a sleeves. Kimono -y sort of thing. It's a Pretty color. Cool. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is really, he's really comfy in this. Now, I like this Ned Stark. But we already yeah, like have this. the superior Ned Stark headless. Exactly. <laughs> I'm saying this as as the A Song of Ice and Fire liker. Ned Stark is better when his head is removable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's really upsetting and is is sad, but I agree. Because <laughs> then you have the option. You can have it on or you can have it off. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's the thing. Like you can you can have both. And we love a multi purpose Funko Pop. Which is also this Lord Varys, because as I said in the you said the last time we talked about him, you can just repurpose him as any bald guy. Yeah. All bald men are the same. I mean he is wearing like a robe though. I think that's very like individual. I mean I could see Michel Foucault wearing a robe. Yeah. I could see Moby wearing a robe. <laughs> I see it more as Moby. I feel like Foucault was a bit like, I don't know. No, Foucault was like classically a turtleneck guy. Yeah. God, so I I will say this on stream because I uh, alluded this to you in like private, but because I looked up the Icon series yeah. uh, of which George was in it and it's I'm not going to spoil which which people because I think there's potential for a future installment of this, but it's like basically famous I iconographic people, like real people mm. who lived or still live. And so is... it's very upsetting that none of them is a Michel Foucault turtleneck. So there is no Foucault one. That's really that's really sad. Yeah. Is there like a Zizek one? <laughs> no. Maybe there's a separate philosopher series. <laughs> He's putting my Zizek Funko Pop on the on the shelf. Um, he'd love that. Okay. Oh yeah, Zizek would famously love that. <laughs> he, he 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 loves. Uh... Get, oh, a, God, yeah. get a Zizek one and a Jordan Peterson one, and then make them do a horrible debate. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most cursed concept we ever came up with. Uh -huh. Um, I, I, want, I really want to make Zizek in The Sims and then, I don't know, I just think that would be fun if there was, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Philosopher's Sims. Um, okay, Tyrion Lannister versus the Harpy. Zizek would, like, die on the toilet in The Sims. I hope so. Like Elvis. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't care about either of these. I guess... Look... I don't remember the happy in the show. I can't believe Tyrion's number one. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the new Tyrion. This is the number one Tyrion of the like the the very first Game of Thrones Funko Pop they ever made. And this is this is history. <laughs> and his hair is still brown. Yeah, this is season one Tyrion and his hair is brown. What the fuck? Um, remember this is happy. <laughs> remember how incredibly shit his blonde wig looked in season one? Yeah, all the it was good. Bad it... for most of the show, to be honest. But the thing is, also, Tyrion is supposed to look like shit. Yeah. So I think it's fine. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Harpy, I guess, because I don't want any Tyrion advancing. Yeah, let's go Harpy. Night King Metallic, AT and T. For some reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is Icons number one, George R. R. Martin, Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this Night King's eyes are pointing in like different directions. Yeah. <laughs> God, didn't notice that the first time. Um, also, this Night King has teeth again, but these aren't perfectly uh, aligned, so I'm less bothered just, by these. I really feel the urge to put my fingers in his mouth. Um, <laughs> okay. He <laughs> In a normal way. He looks like the what puppets. What is it with you and weird mouse stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Um, he looks like those puppets that are in like Labyrinth with David Bowie where they got like the little mm -hmm. rows of teeth, you know? I totally have seen that movie. Well, if you haven't, then you should because it's a classic. And it's yeah, I, puppets. I, I... And it's got David Bowie and he's wearing like I know. a wild outfit. Um, it's good. Good stuff. I've seen some of the epic David Bowie scenes from that one, but I haven't watched the whole movie. 
but there's there is just so many epic scenes in that movie so you have to watch the whole movie in order to get like the full measure of all the I epic definitely scenes. want to watch it it's just one of those that I never got around to uh, you see it's permanently uh, I'm permanently ingrained on my think... brain since childhood <laughs> I'm noticing that the spikes on Night King's head are asymmetrical yeah that's very funny um they sort of give up as it moves to the left yeah exactly <laughs> I don't get what the spikes are. Why would he have a spiky head? Who did the design it's... for this? I just... I don't know. I think it's his hair. Is it? His hair are just ice cones. It's like antennae. Yeah. <laughs> this is how he knows what people are. He like uses radar he... coming from his head spikes. I'm so upset by the... like general way the white walkers look in the show yeah that's what i mean they're so shit why do they look like that they're described as as like distressingly beautiful in the book Mm. like they're like terry pratchett fairies yeah they're like evil but beautiful but you know we we can't have that no they gotta look like walking dead but white yeah it's gotta be like they're gonna, gonna look like shit so we know they're the bad guys yeah, I mean, as the book famously says, if you're ugly, then you're evil, but if you're beautiful, yeah. then you're good. That's the message of the books. Um, I like this George. I think we should keep yeah. the George in. Why does he have a turtle on his hat? Is that what he has? He does have that, yeah. He does He does have a ton of turtle pins. He, he just really, he's just really into turtles. Huh. Is he a turtle? Like, he has pet turtles and shit. Hmm. Which I'm... I think is very vetted. I'm going to go with... George definitely wins this yeah. one. I hate this metallic Night King. <laughs> it's not great. Ooh, it's, ooh. it's Quicksilver Night King. Okay. okay. A new challenger appears. Sansa Stark, Queen of the North versus 88 Hoda holding the door deluxe. <laughs> Sansa Stark, Queen of the North. I did like her dress in the final scene. Um, mm-hmm. they, um, for some reason, the costume designer decided to put thought into it again. And so it's got, like, um, leaves and stuff of the weirwood trees, and it's got all, like, um, mm-hmm. tally insignia and stuff. Yeah. Um, I like that she has red hair. Yeah. Which, you know, she does have red hair in the show, too, but it's not a given that these Funkos are gonna be near close to the actual hair color they're supposed to have. Yeah. I think she looks she looks pretty good. I like the crown. I'm not sure what crown it is. I've it's never seen that crown. Queen of the North crown, I guess. It's it's not, it's like, not a great... Oh my god, it's a fucking... It's like the direwolves, but like direwolf snake. So, in the book, like, we talked about this chapter relatively recently. Where John... Where Rob gets the King in the North crown. Yeah. It's not like this. No, that's what I mean. Like, the, the crown of the North is like a bunch of iron swords that are like in a ring. Yeah. It's not. It's not a snake. It's not dire a wolf. stupid dire. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's not a dire wolf or Oboros. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Dire wolf or Oboros. It's eating its own face. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... Fellas, is it gay to eat your own face? <laughs> How could it not be? Um... <laughs> Hoda holding the door, deluxe. Also awful, He's... but it's still so good because it's like again got action. <laughs> He's dying a horrible death and he's still just only slightly distressed. Yeah. He's got blood on his face. Love that. Mm-hmm. Zombie arms. We literally love blood. from The Walking Dead. Um, their hands are green now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hmm. Like, I, I, I do think it's a good sensor. Yeah. Yeah. Not counting the stupid crown. Yeah. It's much better than the sensor we had in the first round. It's definitely a superior answer, yeah. But this holding the door, Hodor, is just such a such a weird thing. There's so much detail in the door. Yeah, this is sad because I do like the answer, but I think I'm gonna have to give it to holding the door deluxe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen that episode, right? No. It's such good shit. He's like, I should watch it on YouTube just so I can understand what it's saying. I was watching, because we were all watching um, Game of Thrones AMVs last night. Yes. 
And there's a lot of scenes on there that I have not seen. And I was like, okay, this is what people are talking about. <laughs> and then I went and looked up the finger in the bum scene because I have never seen it. And I wanted to know what people were referencing and it was not good. Um, mm-hmm. well, I, think when you see, I think when you see The Door, which mm-hmm. is the title of this episode, you're going to like it a lot because it's very good. Okay, after yeah, this, it definitely I'm, makes sense. I'm watching. I'm gonna watch that clip after we after nice. we finish this. There's there's definitely like hold the door AMVs. Oh my god. Okay, so we got <laughs> shitty Jamie Lannister versus shitty Grey Worm. Why are the early Funko Pops so pink? Like they're not. They're just like very <laughs> pink. <laughs> this is such a perfect Prince Charming. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, yeah, I think I'm gonna look up if there's Shrek Franco Pops. There's because be I wonder if the Prince Charming Franco Pop just looks the same. Hmm. He's got his golden mm. armor. I can't see what his cloak looks like. So this is upsetting. Ooh. There's. Because I, I googled Prince Charming Franco Pop, and all the results are Prince Charming from Once Upon a Time. That makes sense. That's more like a Funko Pop media, you know? Yeah. It's... I hate to say this, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But this, this like, Prince Charming from Once Upon a Time looks so bland. Like, I haven't seen the show, obviously. I think but it's this could be bland, like, yeah. If you'd say, if you tell me this is a supernatural Funko Pop, I'd believe it. <laughs> He's wearing like a leather jacket and he's like oh it's me Mo- yeah, modern exactly. times prince charming that's, with the leather jacket that's exactly what he's wearing i think modern day prince charming would wear like a horrible expensive suit you know that yeah no he's not it's not it's not a leather jacket it's like a leather vest that's worse <laughs> it's not great um so which of these do you like better uh jamie yeah it's just this is really a fashion show off though a little bit because <laughs> yeah it's I don't hate Jamie in his Torgo fancy Nudo golden armor, armor versus yeah Torgo Nudo uh, hot beach time <laughs> it's a bit of a look you know this is like a rave outfit yeah God, I do love the cut off sleeves on Torgo Nudo <laughs> this is hard like none of these are ex- exceptionally good. But it's they're perfectly matched to each other that they like they're like the same level of mediocre with like some redeeming qualities. Yeah, I mean I'm leaning towards Torgonudo just because I hate the eyebrowless pinkness of the original Funko Pops. Oh, you know what? That's fair. Yeah, let's go with Torgonudo. Oh shit! That's all of them. Oh hell yeah! Amazing. Uh, interesting, because I counted thirty, but I might have. Skipped over some of them, but it's fine. I can just watch the VOD <laughs> and determine the winners. <laughs> How many slides are there? There's 33 slides. Okay. Yeah, I I might have just not noted some of them when I made my notes. It's fine. Well, that's definitely... We've definitely cut them down to, like, the best ones now, I think. Yeah. I think, I think at this point, they're, like... We have, like, some high-quality toys. Yeah. Like, these are some... These are close to being, like, actual, like, you know. Because when when people are going to look back on the history of art, mm. there's going to be, like, a direct line from, like, you know, old, uh, old-timey, old like, elaborate statues. Like, you know, there's going to be a direct line from Michelangelo David to Bloody John Snow Hot Topic Funko Pop. Well, if you think about it, because... I, I, you know, I, I know some stuff about um, yes. ancient statues. Um, so the sort of front, the front facing set, like proportionate statue originated in Egypt. Um, mm-hmm. When it's like facing the viewer and it's got one leg, um, like step forward. And then that was adapted by the Greeks in like archaic Greece who then made stuff that was similar, but then it became more and more realistic until it, came, until it became the classical Greek style of like very realistic. Yes, um, I... Which then, obviously, the Romans then copied, and that became Roman stuff. And then that became, you know, very popular 
the sort of renaissance period and then that directly yes, becomes the funko pops face on um statue style which is sort of a throwback to the original egyptian um yeah statue. exactly like we're really ring ring theory real yeah you know history just repeats itself um classical exactly. styles come back into fashion all the time <laughs> i can't believe people are not appreciating it enough like they're they're gonna say this is like some some low bro bro cash out thing where all of them look the same and mm. it's just you know turning every media franchise into marketability and into selling shit you know old uh, fertility like idols unique. old fertility idols emphasize like the breasts and hips to show like fertile mm -hmm. the fertility of the icon whereas now we appreciate the mind um, <laughs> okay <laughs> which is why funko pops has such a big head <laughs> That's an interesting insight. Yeah, like, I had never considered it that way, but it makes a lot of sense, and I think it's confirmed. Yeah, emphasizing the attractive qualities of just a massive nog, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, confirmed, in my opinion. Yeah, gone are the times of, like, you know, once again, Michelangelo David with a perfectly crafted hog. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's... That's not in the... Exactly, it's sapiosexual iconography. Yeah, exactly. And if you think about the kind of people who often buy Funko Pops, they are trying to emphasize like, the power of the mind. Yeah. Um, because they're into, you know, nerdy stuff, like the really, really popular TV show Game of Thrones, <laughs> or yeah, the very we, popular we show to... Marvel, which only smart <laughs> people like. We love to jack off to brains. <laughs> That's what I'm always thinking about. I'm always just like imagining a big juicy brain. Mm -hmm. um, just like throbbing with intelligent thoughts um, and analysis. Um, Happy Weed Minute. <laughs> it's not Weed Minute for me. Uh, okay, should we go through our winners real quick? Yes. Then I will also see which ones I didn't try down. Okay. So, the conclusion of round two of A Song of Babies and Puppies, official game of Thrones, Funko Pop Funkoff, are uh, Brienne of Tarth. So, Brienne of Tarth, Box Lunch. Yeah. I don't have anything to say about this one. This is not going to last long. <laughs> Bloody Jon Snow. Bloody Jon Snow. Uh, still a front runner. Did this go to Snow Dor Torment? Yeah. Yeah. Great, great shit. Um, Remember when we said that we, uh, we've got them down to the really good ones? Yeah, maybe. Well, it's later on they get really good. The first ones mm -hmm. weren't great. Um, this is Danny with Red Dragons. Is that who we chose? Yeah, okay, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> uh, Melisandre. Absolutely. Absolute queen. Um, Hate that Tyrion. Uh, Grey Wind. Grey Wind. Uh, Daenerys and Fiery Dragon. No, oh, I didn't write down this one. Okay. It's because it was so obvious. Yeah. And then we have uh, Theon Greyjoy with Flaming Arrow. God, I love that Theon. It's like uh, probably going to win the Flaming Arrow Theon. It's just very yeah, good. As much as I miss, I'm going to miss Muddy Jon Snow. Yeah. Uh, Sissy Lannister on Iron Throne Deluxe. Yes. John, Epic. Jon Snow boss. on Regal. <laughs> Ball Crash. Ball Crash Jon Snow. Uh, Ghost. Yes, love him. Uh, also, this Jon Snow has no liquids on him, so exactly. I'm glad that all of those are gone. Bronn. Yes. Funny Bronn. Very funny character. Love that he became... Lord of High Garden. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Joffrey Baratheon. <laughs> Fuck this mountain. Fuck the mountain. Uh, Translucent Mel. Mm -hmm. Again, painful. Yeah. Nice. These were the two that were really painful. Like yeah. Muddy Jon Snow and Dagger Ice King. The other ones, I, I don't didn't care. sweat don't anything care about them. Uh, Night King and Icy Viserion. Yes, love him. Really good one. Um, I would. Our mate Onion Dave. Hell yeah. God, I love his 
I love the definition on his beard, though. It's good. It's some good stuff. Um, cool, Yara. <laughs> Epic. Epic, Yara. Um, you remember how she like didn't have anything to do in the last season? Like in in season season seven ended by like her being like, I'm gonna. No, it was the other way around. Theon. <laughs> The only one like, I'm gonna her? save my sister now. Yeah. And then he just picks her up. <laughs> it's fine. They just couldn't figure out a story for them. Uh, Headless Ned Stark. Hell yeah. This is this is so good. I love this one. Uh, Pop Pride 60 Mounted White Walker. Yes. And then Beric the Darien with Fame yeah. Sword. Yeah. Also known as Sam Vimes Discord. Yes. Giant white six inch supersized. It's fine. Yeah, it's alright. It's kind of cool. I will pretend that it's a double beard because it's funnier to think about. <laughs> to me, it's a double beard. Uh, Bran Stark, evil. <laughs> God. I like him. Uh, are you Stark, Emerald City Comic Con mm-hmm. version, Box Lynch? I'm so disappointed by this hot topic, uh, Brienne. I know, it's bad. It would have been so epic. Daenerys and Jorah at the Battle of Winterfell movie. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it made it into round three. Um, honestly, S. Uh, Ober and Martel. <coughs> um, AKA your brother. AKA Brother Joe. Uh, Night King on Iron Throne. Yes. For fuck's sake. I hate to look at this Conan O'Brien as Jon Snow. <laughs> um, they but, could have done a better job at like making his face, I guess. Yeah, it's just bad, and I don't like to look at it. Um, Dragon Three Pack won this one. I gotta find out what series this is. Like, is there really twenty six Conan O'Brien Funko Pops? It can't be. It's just gotta be a um, San Diego Comic Con edition thing or something. But it says Conan 26, like... <laughs> Maybe there are 26 Conan O'Briens. Okay, I'm going to look that up. Um, <laughs> Ned's... No, Lord Varys on this one, right? Okay, yeah, I didn't know Varys. Yes. Uh, Harpy. <laughs> <laughs> Harpy, comma, good. <laughs> with an O-ring. Yeah. Um, what, is with, what is with his outfit? It's, it's an O-ring. It's fine. It's fine. We'll talk about it next time, I guess. <laughs> uh, icons number one, George R. R. Martin. Yes. Terrible, obviously. I'm I'm getting more and more distressed by the eyes of that uh, metallic Night King. Yeah, I'm glad. I, don't, I don't like to look at it. I'm uh, glad it didn't run. Hodor holding Hodor the holding ball. The ball. <laughs> the looks. Uh, Great. Togo Good shit. Noodle. Yes. Toggle Noodle. And that was it. Uh, and that's all of them. So that that's, was our round two selection. That was another one in the box. Once again, we went for an hour, 20 minutes. So Yeah, and we managed to get through 32 matchups, which is impressive. <laughs> and I think probably should be illegal. Yeah. Okay, so next week, I guess. Yeah. I think we need to. Yeah, I think we need a week so we can find new delightful details about these toys. Like... Really bring it. I think we're close to a point where I'd be, uh, where I'd be proud to own any of these. Yes. And I would display them in my house and show them to everyone who comes to visit, and they would think I'm very normal. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, the I um, I think the next cut is definitely going to cut out all the remaining chaff, leaving only gems. Yes. I think the remaining. Absolutely. How much? That's fifteen. So like the remaining. Yeah, there's there's thirty two Funko Pops in the game now. Oh yeah, because it's matchup. Okay, so it's thirty two. So there'll be like fifth, sixteen. There'll be sixteen. Yes. <laughs> Just doing quick maths in my head. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thank you. I am very good at maths. Um, there'll be yeah, there'll be sixteen remaining, and I think those sixteen will be like the creme de la creme of yes. excellent Funko Pops. So are we next week? Next week, are we doing one round? Uh, so, like, just just round three with the, you know, f- uh, final 32 <laughs> or whatever, and then do one stream where we just do all the rest? Because uh, 
or do we i guess we could also do two rounds next time so we can do 32 then down to from 32 like down to final eight and then we can do like one super detailed stream of the final eight yeah <laughs> i, I think know. that makes sense okay um yeah we're gonna have to find a way where we can quickly i guess i guess if we do like a google drive document or whatever i can edit them in real time so we have the matchups updated or we take just a short break in the middle of the stream where i can do the yeah we can do like a, a stream break and you can edit the PowerPoint. okay good good this <laughs> this is an important project i agree <laughs> Okay, let's end on that uh, visual. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you Thanks for everyone for watching. Once again, watching this for some reason. Um, we love that people are willing to watch it. I um, hope to catch you next time as we will be cutting them down again um, on our ongoing quest to figure out which is the best Game of Thrones Funko Pop. Yes. Um, and listen... despite. Oh yeah, go on. Listen to our podcast, The Song of Babies and Puffies, if you love to know about A Song of Ice and Fire and you have a lot of time. Uh-oh. And until next time. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he made it into the next round, fuck Jorah. Yeah, fuck Jorah. Um... Bye, everyone. Bye.